this world of all Sometimes we need to really hear what the word is saying. Verses 31 through 46, it says, When the Son of Man shall come. Y'all know, yeah, yeah. know the Son of Man shall come, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He, he's coming. And uh, when the man, Son of Man shall come, in his glory. In his glory. 
and all the holy angels with him. Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall he gather all from amen, all the nations, and he shall separate them, amen, one from another. Yeah. As a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats, mm. and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, and but the goats yeah. on the left hand. By right this time, we'll be asking what do you feel like, a sheep or a goat? Mm. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, Come. ye blessed of my father, wow. inherit the king of the past yeah. for you. From the foundation of the world, for I was a hunger, mm. and you gave me meat. Yeah. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, mm. and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. Yeah. I was sick, mm. and you visited me. Yes, Lord. I was in prison, uh -huh. and you came unto me. Right. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee a hungry and Fed thee and thirsty and gave thee drink. See, when saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we sick or in prison and came unto them? And the king shall say, answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me. I think that's the goat, son. Ye cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was a hunger and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger and you took me not in. Naked and you clothed me not. Sick and in prison and you visited me not. Then shall they all answer him and say, Lord, when saw we thee hungry and a thirst and a stranger and a naked and sick and in prison and did not minister unto thee? Then he answered them, saying, Verily I say unto you, and as much as ye all, I mean, ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. Then, and then, and thou shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous until life eternal. Yes, sir. Huh? That's a word, isn't that right? Did y'all already hear that word? Yes, I'm going to talk about being sensitive to the hurt. Being sensitive to the hurt. This, 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 this pastor, in all the years I've been preaching Pastor Joseph and in this ministry and, and, and living and saw my mother do some great things. I got my mother's little picture here. I mean, she passed away and I keep this little thing here when I want to see that beautiful, cute smile she had. And, amen. And she was special to me, but she, she was sensitive to the hurt. You had parents that were sensitive to the hurt? Yes, sir. When I thought of this and I said, well, now, I keep passing those folks up on the corner. I keep passing under the bridges in these folks in these tents. And uh, I keep passing them up, Brother Mac. I keep passing them up, Brother Dennis. I keep passing them up, Brother Smith. Yes, sir. Sister Como, Sister John. I keep passing them up, Sister King. Sister White, I keep passing them up. And I kept asking the Lord, Lord, should I stop? Should I give them something? The Lord started to help me to think. Because the word said the needy. Maybe you didn't catch it after a while. But these needy, when God went and had help them, they didn't build no tents. Maybe y'all catch that. They didn't build no tents. They didn't sit around in the bed. As a matter of fact, Jesus walked out and they were out there in the field and yeah. everywhere else. Come on, somebody. But they were not building themselves All and right, waiting right. for, come on, and putting themselves in a position where, hey, man, everybody got to give or feel bad or feel sorry for them. Maybe y'all catch that after a while. They had a place for certain people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right? Yes, sir. That was for them. Some people that you find out are begging them, they, they're taking possession of certain parts of the city mm -hmm. and places. And they'll fight to say they're smart enough to know that they even have laws that'll keep them there and protect them. All right, all right. Those were not the ones I see that really Jesus, come on somebody, was feeding in. All right. Because we have places for them to go eat. That's right. That's and right. they won't. Right. We have places for them to go get food and shelter and clothing. 
and they won't. We got places for them to rest and lay their head down, but they don't want to. Come on, somebody. Somebody say, oh, well, they mentally, they got a problem. We all mentally. We all, we all have problems. But some common sense, I'm going to take. If I can find you a baby light out of it, huh? peace for the night, I'm going to take it. Come on, somebody. So I'm not judging them. I'm just sharing with you. When I read this and got through with all of this, I didn't feel guilty about passing them up under the bridge. Maybe I can help you all too. I didn't feel guilty about going to somebody who don't want to see me. All right. Maybe you catch that. In the hospitals or in prison. Come on, somebody. Because people needed Jesus. They they got in position for Jesus. When they heard he was passing by. Come on, somebody. Yes, sir. Huh? And if the man of God uh, wants to go, a woman going to prison and go to, and, and they want to see him, that's a blessing. Yeah, yeah. But when they got people don't want to see, don't want you come to talk on, to them. Come, come on, on, somebody. Come on. Maybe you catch the, this what I'm trying to share with you. That uh, some people, I'm sorry, I, I I don't have a heart for, and maybe God need to help me with that. Come on, somebody. All right. I've learned also through this week and through past this past setting that we need to really think before we do a talk. That's why I say I'm not criticizing them. I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm just saying. I don't see through what the Bible teaching me. That amen, I got to stop that and give them 50 or $100 there when there are places set up for them. All right, all right. Okay? So I guess I had to clear myself. I don't know if I cleared anybody else's <laughs> amen. Amen. guilt or whatever. Amen. But I had to clear myself. Amen. But Jesus, in this passage, in many passages, was sensitive to the hurting. Yeah. People are hurting, Pastor Joseph. They are hurting because there are some things they can't fix. Yes, sir. There are some things that I love their condition to fix. They can't do it by themselves. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They need some help. Yeah. You ever needed some help? Yeah. I thank God for people who reached out to me when I needed help. Yes, sir. I, 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 and, and if you haven't been there, I mean, you don't know how it feels, but if you haven't been there, and you, you find somebody, you hurt him, you help him, yeah. somebody shows up. It's just like God showed up through them. Yeah. And, and when I saw that, and when I see that, that's what I want for me now. My ministry, and the ministry of my children, and everybody in the church, I want you to be there for somebody. As I preach and as I teach. Amen. I want you to be there for somebody. There's somebody that needs you. Somebody will catch it up. Somebody, yeah. somebody needs you. Amen? And if therefore God will put them in your way, All right. what a blessing. Yeah. In Matthew 25, amen, and 31 through 46, Jesus teaches about the judgment of nations. Huh. There is going to be a judgment. Yes, sir. Yeah. You can't live like that. Like, I ain't got to worry about that. Let's see, who's the perfect Christian? Anybody? I'm not raising my hand. I'm just trying to see who is. Because I know I'm not. I, I'm not the per perfect Christian. And so I want to see how many are the perfect. Nobody's perfect. Yes, sir. Yes, Amen. Sir. So that's going to be a judgment. Yes, sir. And I, I don't know about you. As long as I live, I know there's a God I got to serve. I want to know what God expects of me. Amen. And, and even when I see him get taught these things, right, I don't still believe that I'm going to be perfect. Because God is not through with me yet. Yeah. Anybody with me? That, 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 that I have no doubt that God is not through with me yet. Huh? And I'm not going to act like he is. So I'm not going to act like I'm perfect. I'm going to act like somebody else will be perfect around me. Right. Somebody kiss it, that's right. But at the judgment of me, he says that when he comes in his glory with his angels with him, when he comes in his glory, he can't come to the process. Amen. Amen. Of his glory. There are some things you can't do unto God. Right. Or prove it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He, he's giving process. His glory got to come upon him. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yes, sir. Before he can do it. Then, then, then when he gets it, he's still not coming by himself. Uh -uh. He got some help. Yeah. His angels. Yes, sir. Quit doing things without help. Yeah. Maybe I'm kidding. Quit, quit doing things without help. We got help. We got our partners, we got our wives, 
We got to, even my children now is matured and, and wise. I ask them questions before I do some things. All right. Amen. Don't act like you know. I got some friends right. that's in big business situations. Right. Amen. That I can talk and ask some questions. I got some lawyers. Got some doctors. Mm-hmm. Amen. That I can ask. I'm not going to go like I know it all by myself. All right. Somebody catch it after a while. Amen. So, so he's coming in the glory with his angels. Then he will separate them. There's a cause for separation. And there are some people you ought to separate out of your life. Mm-hmm. You won't find yourself happy. until And some things we don't want to separate from. Some, some of our loved ones we don't want to. But, but I love God because he fixed it. Can God fix it? He'll fix it where they'll have to get out of your life. One way or other, they'll have to go. Amen. I heard it from my daughter for years, and my wife did, and then she got to a point where she, amen, said, I'm through with it. And I kept on hanging in on that with her, and I kept on uh, trying to do things with her because we loved her. And we always let her know that you have a place to eat, you have a place to lay your head. Amen. I, I, can't, I can't deal with your friends, your other franchises you have. Maybe y'all can catch it after a while. But you're working. You, you're my child. You always have a place to eat. I always have a place to lay your head. But I can't put up with the lifestyle. Don't bring it over here. So somebody catch it after a while. And I got some real good friends. Amen. That they've been knowing me for years. Amen. Down in the clubs and amen. Down on the street corners. Amen. I can go by that way and holler. Up there. We still friends. But no, you can't bring your stuff. Come on, somebody. Right. That, that, there's a time in a man in a woman's life that you got to stand yeah. and say so you can't bring that over here. Amen? Amen. I was glad when I, I become a man to realize that, hey, I got to tell my, my, even my own brothers, I tell you, you your drinking days over over here. All right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. When I start drinking, I shut it down. Hey, it's done. Amen. You can't come find me in my refrigerator no more. And I don't need to bring nothing over here. All right. So they got mad with me. Anybody made some friends mad? Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. But when they got in trouble, they can't find me. All right. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. So, so somehow God gonna let them give you some attention and bring back the fact that they need you. All right. And you need them, and you, and you find out that the friendship ain't had nothing to do with how much I drink or how much I party. Right. But the true friendship was that my friend needed me. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yes, if my friend need me, I'm gonna be there. All right. That's the, come on. That's the old old. Old say, but now that I'm a Christian, Come on. all these other habits got to go. All right. Come on, somebody. All right. So because if my habits got to go, yours too. All right. we, we, I cannot be strong staying around you. Anybody, you realize somebody hit, cause you to get weak? Yes, sir. Amen? I can't stay strong being around you. Yes, sir. So I have to sort of cut you off a bit, fade away. I'm over here. Mm-hmm. Don't bring your stuff over there, but you can bring you over there. Come on, somebody. Right. Don't, don't bring your stuff. And don't bring your rowdy friends. And don't bring your habits over here. Mm-hmm. But come talk to me anytime. Right. So, so you show love. I, I love you. Mm-hmm. But I can't go with you. Right. Come on, somebody. Everybody with me? Amen. Those who are classified as sheep. See, he separated them. Mm-hmm. There's a classification. Now, this is the Bible. And the Bible says there's a classification. All right. The Bible says that the Lord had to divide. He's going to separate. So it ain't no secret that you can't live any kind of way right. and think God's going to take you in. Come on, come on. Huh? He said, no, he said, those who were, amen, uh, he said, those who are classified as sheep are those who were sensitive to the pains of others. All right. All right. Sensitive to the you, you have a heart. Your heart goes out to the need of others. Right. Amen? But those who were Insensitive to others' suffering will be designated as goats. You know, a sheep is very humble. You can't get a sheep to war. He'll run. He'll let you beat him. Let you do what else. He, you can shave all this coat off there. He don't care. He just, you know, he just there. But a goat will kick you. A goat, a goat will butt you. Come on, somebody. A goat will deal with you. Want to do it? Amen. So therefore, there's a difference in the, the kind of people. The kind of people God is going is humble. Yeah. They're humble. They open their heart. And they're looking for 
somebody to help. Anybody understand what I mean? Jesus lists several requirements for wood to be cheap. Now, if you got to, if you can take notes, sometimes when I'm teaching, they try to do it. And the other night he was teaching, I just said, take notes. And you ought to have your little pad taking notes on these things. Jesus had several requirements for wood be sheep. Yeah. Those who seek to enter his kingdom, that's the would be sheep. You want to get in that kingdom? You want to be in that number? And everybody say, oh, I want to be in that number. Yeah. But will you obey? Will you do what it calls for to be in that number? Right. Look what he said. They are asked to feed the hungry. Have you ever done that? Give water to the thirsty. Have you ever done that? Have you taken any stranger? When they get to that part, say, oh, oh, you know, I don't know. I don't want to be taking any no stranger. Well, that's why we have these places that you, they can go to. Yes, sir. We got the names up. We got the numbers. They just go, still got some numbers. Amen. If, you, if somebody needs some help, they go to these places. They give them water. They give them food. And they even provide a place for them to sit. Yes, Amen. Take in strangers. We could take them into our heart and and, and love them and say, hey, I got a place for you to go to that these people will look out for you. But you can't take everybody in your house. Not today. Amen? Amen. Amen. Come on. They, they got some people want to enter your house for no good. All right. They want to enter your house and they know they got diseases and don't care. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. They want to enter your house. Sometimes they want to enter your house not by the right way. Some okay. broke through a fellow's house the other day, three up with guns. They got disappointed because he had one too. <laughs> he shot some lead down with his own. It's the wrong place. <laughs> and all I had to say with you is, hey amen, they're going to go into the wrong house and if they will get caught one time, they're going to have to take a detour. Amen? And, and I share with you that God has no problem with you protecting your home. God has no problem with you standing up for yourself. Amen? He, he know you're sheep. you sheep for him. You're not sheep for the world to beat on. Maybe I put like maybe maybe you catch that and I put it that way and you understand that you don't have to let the world beat you to death. Come on, right? come on, somebody. Amen. You are God's sheep. That's why, believe it or not, He protects you. Yes, he he covers you. He, did He cover? He cover me. I, did He cover you? Yes, sir. He He watches over me. Yes, yes. And that's why I have no problem whatsoever. Amen. Trust in God. Yes. Not fearing. The other day they broke into my car. I went into I went to the bank and then another bank went to Bucky's. Amen. And I, I went in there just, I went less than 10 minutes. They had a broke into my pastor's side, broke that window with a stick. Amen. Got in the console, got this big brown bag out, it was thick. And they said, I got something here. And they took all in fast. Less than five minutes. And people right across at the park looking at them. They don't brought in. Got cameras all over the place. When the police got there, they, we all don't care. We got their face. They don't care. But when they get that big brown bag, they find out they ain't got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you got your face mask. <laughs> 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 then they're going to really be mad. All <laughs> uh, oh, I hope is the brown bag didn't have my address on it. Because they come around my address, they're going to find some else over there. <laughs> they ain't going to like, amen. I'm going to protect my house. And I'm sharing with you, amen, protect your home. Don't let nobody take you over. Because the world don't have no love for you. They'll take over your house. They'll, they'll kill you. They'll shoot you. They'll maim you. Don't let them do it to you. Amen. Be prepared. Amen? And the key factor is be prepared. So, amen. The strangers, he said, clothe you when you're naked. Tend to you when you're sick. And visit those in prison. Now, because of the pandemic, it used to be a, a big thing for us to visit in the prison. Uh, now we sort of slack there. Amen. Anybody, ain't anybody in the rush to go to prison here lately? No, I ain't heard no one run into the prison here lately because, amen, they got so much pandemic, so many things happening. Amen. So we prepare. But, amen, we still can share and give and send to somebody. If you know somebody in prison, amen, send some love packages to them, send some uh, encouraging messages to them. Amen. It doesn't stop you from doing things. You have to do it long distance on the computer, however you have to do it, but show some love. Isn't that right? Amen. So, so the, Lord, the Lord told him, this is the would-be sheep. This is what the would-be sheep do. These words of Jesus form the basis for the frequently criticized social gospel. Amen. The gospel, amen, means we socialize. We help them. But you've got to be careful how close you socialize in this amen. day and time. Amen. Anybody with us? Some Christians believe that the church must not become involved in the social life of the community.
but only in saving souls. And that's what all I want to do is save souls. No. Before your soul was saved, you had need for something. Come on. If, amen, a Christian person would have spared me my real need. All right. Come on, somebody. I needed to hear about Jesus. Amen. Hey, anybody? Yes. Amen. And, and it's the way you present yourself yeah. that lets you know, amen, that's what you need to do. I was actually uh, going to a gospel city to go to a gospel singing, and that's where I met my pastor. I was asked by him to come. Well, you know, everybody ain't going to go for anybody asking. But God put my pastor there because he know if he tell me he passed the church, I'm coming. Why? Because I know something about his past. I'm coming because I'm very curious to what God has done for him and to him. Yeah. And I know his wife, and I know all about his family. So I'm going over there to see. When I get there, I get caught. I get caught in the Holy Spirit. I get caught in the love of people. And I tell you, you need to love somebody. Somebody, God gets them in this house, you need to love them. Amen. God gets them close to you, you need to love them. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. Thank God for the love I felt at Starlight when I went there. I met my best friend here. Pastor Michael Joseph, a young man, I mean, very inspiring, and many, many others, amen, that inspired me and my wife, helped me, helped my, me raise my children, helped me keep my children, did a, a bunch of beautiful things, amen. amen, to help my life. That's what the church is about, helping somebody's life, improving somebody's life, bringing them to another level, amen. amen. <clears throat> but now you got to want to be brought, you got to want to be helped, yeah. amen. amen. So I don't, I don't feel we need to beg somebody. To come to church. Come on, come on. Come on. Uh, don't need to beg nobody to get the blessed gift of God. Amen. But amen. We set up a setting that hey, you want you to know you're loved. Yeah. Amen. We want you over here. Yeah. And yeah. then you let the spirit work because during that week, God's gonna bring them through some trouble and trials and tribulation. Then they're gonna remember what that Christian person told. Them. I'm coming on home. Amen? amen. So now we got some problems with. Amen, people. But Jesus reminds us that we need to be concerned about the whole person. Amen? Not just his soul. Jesus seems to declare that social responsibility is necessary response for God's people. Amen? We need to be able to smile. We need to be able to share. We need to be able to talk to somebody. A whole from a Christian, they don't want to talk to nobody. I just go to church, that's all. I, talk to the people. I just talk to the people at church. Come on, somebody. Amen. I, I go across people's store. I can't help myself and say, hi, how you doing? And, and smile. And come on, somebody. All right. Somebody going to appreciate it. Somebody going to love it. Amen. 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 I got to share with the world. Amen. Come on, somebody. God gave me that smile. Yes. God gave me that joy. God yes. gave me that personality. I got to share it with somebody. Oh, I'm about to let you go. I know you you, know, you want to get out of this thing. But yeah, Jesus seems to declare that social responsibility is a necessary responsibility for God's people if we are sent, uh, to, to be sensitive to the hurts of our fellow human beings and pro proceed to alleviate the pain. We are positioned to inherit the kingdom of God. If, if you want to go to the kingdom of God, if you want to be there, you need to be doing what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Love it, share it, giving a need. That's what the kingdom is about. I'm going to a kingdom that has nothing but love. Anybody going to that kingdom? Yes, sir. I'm going to a place Will there be joy forevermore? Anybody go to that place? That's the place I'm going to. I don't, I don't know where you're going, but I'm going to that place where amen, I know that God's going to be there to take care of me, and I'm going to share my love. I'm going to share my joy. Unless I hold you too long, I know that some of you, amen, don't understand about being insistent to the hurt of man. But I share with you in that last verse, what is he saying? And these shall go away into everlasting punishment. Those are the ones that don't have that sensitivity to mankind, that don't know how to love. How, who are these people? Amen. I share a bunch of witches that they hung Jesus on the cross. Come on, yeah. come on somebody. I, I share with you what kind of people they are. They up there on the cross while he's hanging yeah. and suffering. They're playing dice. Come on, come on somebody. Yeah. And, and to some people, life is nothing but a game. We play dice. We play cards. We they go, go shoot people. We go do this. And life is a game to some people. At the cross. Come on, somebody. Yes, At the cross, they're amen, making fun of Jesus. And while he's on the cross, he said, what I love about Jesus, <clears throat> he didn't come down. He couldn't come down. He didn't come down. They, they played dice. They talked about if you are who you are. Come on. You ought to come down. Even the other people on the cross said, if you are who you are, you ought to come down yes, and save us. Yes, 
He think about himself when he said it. See, because if he can get down, he can get me down. Yeah. Amen. But the key fact is he died for our soul. Yeah. Amen. He's up there hanging from the sixth to the ninth hour. Amen. And then he died. He didn't have his head in the rock of the shore. Yeah. And he died. He died. For our sins. Thank you, Jesus. He never turned around yeah. and turned back. He stays on the cross. He suffers for our sin, not his. He didn't sin. He was sinless, yeah. but he died. They buried him in a barred tomb. Yes, and the word said he stayed there. Stay Come on, somebody. He could have came out the first day if he wanted yes. to. He stayed there stay all day Friday. Isn't that right? The word, he could have come out Saturday morning if he wanted to. No. Huh? But he stayed there all day Saturday. And then somebody said, hey, amen, the time was winding down. Hey, amen, early on the third day morning. Yes. He rose up with all power. But yes. heaven and earth in his hand. And I'm not about to tell you that he was wrong. He was still living. He lives in your soul. He lives in your mind. He lives in your heart. You don't want to lift him up. Why do you have a chance? Would you come? Would you come today? He's calling your name.
Brother Darren Chavis, Sister Mazetta White, who's dealing with health challenges, Sister Velma DeVos, and she uh, recovers and trying to recruit. Uh, as she grows uh, older and weaker, we pray God will strengthen her and give her what the locusts, uh, back what the locusts has eaten up. Uh, I'm going to ask you to continue to pray for Pastor Como and his family. I'm going to pray for the a farm family, a uh, family of young men that hit our building and, uh, and expired. I want to pray for his mother and other relatives as they grieve. Uh, I pray for J.C. Morrison family, for the Linda Morrell family, for the Simeon family, uh, for the Brown family. Sister Anna Morris is asked for prayer for herself and her family. Sister Alberta Coven and, and her family. Yeah. Maddie Holmes. Amen. Sister Lois Joseph and her family. Sister Charlene Rose. Uh, Brother Steve, Janet, and, and uh, Janet Rogge. And the family of Robert Kelly. As we prepare to give, we're going to ask that you would just uh, do your part. And God will make a difference. Amen. the Lord. But let a man examine himself, 
In this way, let him eat the bread and drink from the cup. Whosoever eats and drinks without recognizing the body, eats and drinks judgment upon himself. This is why many are sick, ill among you, and many have fallen asleep. If we were properly judging ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged by the Lord, we are disciplined so that we be not condemned with the world. Therefore, my brother, when you come together to eat, welcome one another. If any man is hungry, he should eat at home. So that when you gather together, you will not come unto, under judgment. And I will give instruction about the other matters when I come. And God have a blessing to the hearers and readers of the
our minds ought to be on the cross, seeing our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ hanging from the sixth to the ninth hour. And he's with his disciples here to say, this bread is the body of my body, it's torn for you with all of it. They have drank symbolic of the blood that's here for the rest of your sins, like all of it. Thank you.